Hello everyone, this is the best chem YouTube channel. Today I am going to speak with you 2019 A-level chemistry paper second MCQ question. This MCQ question under the general chemistry. Now let's see the what is the question. They have told us the maximum number of electron pairs. Look at here carefully the electron pair they have already highlighted these two words electron pairs of an atom that are associated with principal quantum number n similar to 3 is they have given five answers for you how should you get the correct answer such as these problems i am going to discuss with you the theory part under this question and after i explain the theory part i will come back and explain for you how to get the how to obtain the correct answer such as these problems therefore please carefully understand about this okay let's see the what is the theory part of this question quantum numbers for answering like these questions you have to know about the quantum numbers all of theories i have given you the special notes under this special notes you have to concentrate the four quantum numbers you know there are four quantum numbers the first one is the principal quantum number you know we have told it to n symbol the second quantum number is the angular momentum or azimuthal quantum number we have told to it l symbol the third quantum number is the magnetic quantum number o m l o m the fourth one is the spin quantum number o m s o s to obtain the correct answer like these questions you should know about the complete theory of these four quantum numbers now let's see what is the n what is the l what is m l o m what is m s o m now let's move to the first quantum number i mean the principal quantum number i have already given you two points of inside the principal quantum number the principal quantum number can have positive integral values 1 2 3 etc i have given the examples like this n similar to 1 2 3 etc we can give n integral values the second point i have keep here um, this quantum number defines the main energy level or we can tell it to electron shell that the electron occupies in the atom these two main points you should know under this principal quantum number o n when we see the the angular momentum or azimuthal quantum number it can have integral values from 0 to n minus 1 for each value of n uh, if i tell you some example for this angular momentum or azimuthal quantum number uh, please assume that um, assume like this uh, if we get n similar to 3 we can get the azimuth or angular momentum quantum number n minus 1 3 minus 1 give the 2 then the azimuthal quantum number is true 2 the next point is this quantum number defines the shape of the orbital you should know about this correctly the third point i have given you the value of l for particular orbital is generally designated by letters s p d and f these are the sub shells or, or sub energy levels these sub energy levels corresponding to l values what are those 0 1 2 and 3 respectively you should know about these things correctly otherwise you will be unable to get the correct answer for 
like such as these questions. Now let's see a similar to one. In the quantum physics, we have to apply for the S subshell zero, for the P subshell one, D sub energy level we have to put two, F sub energy level we have to put three respectively. These things you sh these things you should know correctly under this angular momentum or azimuthal quantum number. Now let's move to the another quantum number, the magnetic quantum number O M L O M. Under this magnetic quantum number, we have to concentrate two two main points. This magnetic quantum number can have integral values between minus L and plus L including zero. Please look at carefully. Can have integral values between minus L and plus L including zero. I will explain the um, explain some uh, examples after this theory part. Okay, the another point I have given for you. This quantum number describes the orientation of the orbital in the space. Please keep these things in your mind very well because these things will be asked from your A level exam in the future. Okay, the next point is number of possible values for L denotes the number of orbitals in the subshell. This is the very important point of this under this magnetic quantum number. The next quantum number, when we move to the spin quantum number O M S O S, under this quantum number, I have already kept two points. It includes two possible values are allowed for M S. What are those? Plus half or minus half. Then the other point is describes the two opposite directions in which the electron can spin. These things should be kept in your mind very well. Okay. Now let's see the relationship between values in L and M L. Please look at carefully. As you can see, I have given n similar to one. The possible values of L n minus one it means zero. Then, as I told you the previously, the subshell designation is S. I have told you the S mean zero. Then zero mean S. Then possible values of M L it also zero. The number of orbitals in subshell one is means one. Then the total number of orbitals in shell one. The possible values of M L is one. No, therefore total number of orbit orbitals in shell we can get one. The, the second example n similar to two n minus one it means one including zero zero there are two values zero and one for zero. If we look at here, subshell designation is 2s because the zero is s no. The principal quantum number is two. Therefore, we have to put here 2s. The possible values of M L zero. Number of orbitals in subshell is one. The other number when we see the other number one. You know one means p. The principal quantum number is two. Therefore, we have to keep here two p. Then the possible values of M L minus one, zero, and plus one. Why I get three values here? Because minus L to plus L. The L number is one. The minus one to it includes zero and Plus one. Then the number of orbitals in subshells one, two, three minus l zero minus one zero and plus one. It means three subshells. Then the all of three and one, the total number of orbitals in shell 
four shells. I guess you got it what I am telling in this time. Uh, the third n similar to three and n similar to four. Please look at these things very carefully. I think that you will be able to understand these things very well. Um, since the video is too long, I am not going to talk with you the three n similar to three and n similar to four. I think that you can, you are able to understand those things very well. Please refer this very carefully. Okay, now let's move to the main special note according to this question. I have already put here the shell with principal quantum number n consists of exactly n subshells. Please keep these things correctly in your mind. The second point is the total number of orbitals in a shell is the total number of orbitals. Please highlight these things. Number of orbitals we can tell this in this formula n square where n is the principal quantum number of the shell. The third point is the total number of electrons in a shell is 2n square where n is the principal quantum number of the shell. In here total number of orbitals it gives the formula n square. In here total number of electrons it gives the in this formula 2n square. Okay, now let's move to the last point. For a given value of L, there are 2L minus 1 allowed values of ML ranging from minus L to plus L. Please keep these things in your mind very well because very important points, four points in here. According to these four points, I think that you will be able to, now you will be able to get the correct answer for that question now let's move to again for the question and let's see how to get the correct answer using these uh, theory parts the maximum number of electron spares i said you electron spares of an atom that are associated with principal quantum number n similar to 3 now let's see how to get the answer in here how to obtain the correct answer i have already put everything here the total number of electrons in a shell is i have told this previously for you 2n square therefore we have to we have to add uh, n similar to 3 here then 2n square then i add here n similar to 3 then the to total number of electrons we have given 18 the maximum number of electron pairs they have asked from us electron pairs therefore we have to divide it 18 by 2 then the we have given answer the 9 then let's see what is the answer therefore in here the answer should be 5 then the answer is 5 i think that you you have understood what i am telling so far This is the very important theory part and the very important question. Every year they have given for us like this question. In the 2020 also, they have given the question also. Uh, I guess uh, you have understood what I am telling uh, like this time, in this time. Uh, therefore, let's, uh, let's speak another question. Um, in next video if you have any question or any your idea about this video uh, please comment under the video uh, I will give you how I can I will give you answer uh, I think that it's high time uh, for you to know about these things very well and uh, this shall we meet again next video Okay, now stop. Have a good day for all of you.